Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Board Smashing Grocery Store Phones in the new house. So, to all my new subscribers who don't know what this series is, I buy cheap phones at basically any place that sells food. It used to be just fries, but then we moved. I then review the phone, test its durability in various ways, and then in the end, destroy it spectacularly. Today, we have this $10 AT&T basic phone slash smartphone. I don't know what it is, but I got it a long time ago when we were still living close to fries. Now to the main phone of this episode, which is a uh, AT&T Z432. Now, I try to avoid cancer jokes on this channel. Cancer? Cancer. Cancerous. Cancer. Cancerous! But this phone is pretty cancerous. Not because it's AT&T, or it has the design of a Blackberry, but it literally says it right here. Warning, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. This is cancer. Ugh. I don't want cancer. I'm only 17. I'm too young to die. Now, how am I going to unbox this without catching that horrible disease? Ugh. Wait, I got it. Oops, huh, forgot to do the intro. Now, let's start another episode of Board Smashing Grocery Store Phones. This is pretty neat. I can unbox it without getting cancer, and if I'm lucky, I don't have to review the OS of this phone. Heh <laughs> so it's a win-win. Now let's get to unboxing. Alright, here we have the AT&T Z432. As you can see right here, it can wait. Remember, don't text and drive, but you can drink and drive instead. Open it, you get a nice display of the phone. You can take that off. How do you open this? Oh, I think you just go right here. Just rip it open. Don't worry about the Apple Watch. That's waterproof. Oh, it's freezing. I knew I should have brought scissors. Alright. We got the phone. It's pretty light, let's put that to the side. What else does this come with? Oh, the rest is in another compartment. I have to... Ah, there, I got everything out. We got all the manuals, which I'll never read. You can tell that this was made to be opened underwater because they wrapped all the important stuff up so water doesn't get in. <laughs> What else do we have? Let's move the package thing aside. Ooh. We have the charger. Let's get that out of there. Move that aside. Next, we have a battery. Open, uh, put the phone here. Open this up. There we go, we got the battery out. ZTE. I wonder why the water sensors are in red. I don't do anything to it yet. Okay, so we're gonna peel off this big display on the phone. Wow, look at that beautiful screen. Uh, what does that say? Attention. Nah, I don't care. Peel that off too. There's also a cover on the camera. Peel it off. There we go. That is a pretty large camera for this phone. Take off the back. And then, ooh, it comes with, what is this? A really big SIM card. Haven't seen this type in years. Then we insert in the battery. Make sure you do it right. You wouldn't want any accidents to occur. Put the cover back on. Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want any liquids getting in. And then let's power it on. 
I said, let's power it on. One last time. I'm saying, let's turn it on. Ugh, must be defective. Maybe the battery's dead. Let's plug it in. This end goes in here, and then this end goes in here. Ah! Just kidding, guys. I'm pretty stupid, but I'm not that stupid. <laughs> guys, it's booting up. Well, that ends the underwater unboxing on a good note. Time to dump out the water. Oh man, it shut off again. Why? My parents are so proud of me. Let's see. Will it turn on again? Nope. Let's just take out the battery. And just give it a day to dry. And we'll check on it tomorrow. Yep, it will definitely need a day to dry. <laughs> Alright, I left the phone out all night to dry, pop the battery in, there's still some water left in the screen, but let's see if it turns on. Nope, it's dead. It might be pointless, but we can still do a quick drop test of this phone. Backside. Three, two, one. Some marks on the camera, but it didn't crack. Side drop. Three, two, one. Scratches and some dents. Still looks like a phone though. Finally, the face down drop test. Three, two, one. Yep, it's still a phone, so it passed. Now, the ludicrous drop test. Three, two, one. Can't tell if it passed or failed, but who cares? Let's destroy this thing now. <laughs> Our rule is, when buying grocery store phones, they have to be $10 or less. So, I picked up this AT&T landline phone also. Let's unbox it. Hello? Can you hear me now? This landline phone belongs in the same place this phone book does. Trash. My goal is to get this inside of this. Now, how am I gonna do this, you ask? Oh sh guys, uh, I didn't stand my tripod up correctly, it fell, hit that wall, now there's this huge scratch right here, white, and I think I see the display popping up which is not good, oh sh 
Huh, well, at least the screen's still okay, but eh, I think I can fix that. If I'm tapping right here, you can see, yeah. So the touch screen still works, just gotta glue that on. All right, I snapped it, just snapped it back onto place, and it looks like the touch screen, everything still works. Right after I was done recording that clip, now this thing I put down uh, right here, it also fell off, and now there's this little bulge right here. I can't push that down. <sighs> I'm breaking everything but the stuff I'm supposed to break. So anyway, I think I got the phone to be able to fit in here. But first, let's blend the SIM card. I got lucky with that shot, it just fell in. <laughs> Eh, good enough. We're probably gonna do this piece by piece. First, the bezel, the camera, and the back cover. Should probably be wearing gloves. Let's dump the contents in a bucket for now. Next, the keyboard. Huh, pretty decent. The only thing it didn't blend up is the metal part, but oh well. And lastly, the microchips. One more time for good measure. Well, it mostly got blended. I'm surprised this bottle didn't break. watching the first ever board smashing grocery store phones shot in the new house. Don't worry though, this series won't end just because I moved to a new house and I'm further away from fries. In fact, there are several stores around me that sell food and cheap phones, which means I'm in luck. I also just got a driver's license, so that means I can go to another store to buy cheap phones, such as fries. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Put this on Do Not Disturb.